Hi guys, I guess you all know what is going on with the IS-4. It's probably one of the worst tier 10 Russian tanks in the game. Maybe even it's on sp on par with the T-62A, even though the T-62A is a little bit more fun to play as it is a speedy, it has a decent turret and the quick firing gun. Interesting enough, as you might know, so or some of you, some of your veterans know, the IS-4 used to be a low tier tank. <laughs> Obviously not low tier, but tier 9, and led to the IS-7. It is also important to know, to my knowledge, the IS tank did never exist with the M62 T2 gun, which we right now have, the 440 Alpha gun. It only existed with the Pispoor in real life with the Pistol 122mm gun, which obviously back in the real life days was a pretty punchy gun and a pretty devastating gun because it was a, such a huge of caliber. But in the, uh, in the game World of Tanks, as you might know, it's, it's a little bit tragic with this tank. It's an amazing side scraper, but sometimes your turret roof screws you over. Sometimes your gun accuracy screws you over and most importantly your frontal armor, especially some of your cheeks, can screw you over ridiculously. Plus the tanks simply went out of flavor because they were better, much better super heavy tanks from the Russians. And from other tech trees like Type 5 Heavy. And from the Russians obviously we are talking about the 705A. Just the difference is the IS-4 basically still has something for itself. It's a unique tank in the sense of it was one of those tanks which actually existed in the game. And I think many of you know already where I'm going. You already saw the thumbnail and we already got first information about a possible, again this is pure guesswork right now, this is pure guesswork, a possible replacement for the IS-4. What is going to happen to the IS-4? I don't know, maybe it stays. Maybe they're going to buff it like they more or less promised. Or maybe they're going to completely redo the IS-4, maybe lower its frontal armor and put it down on tier 8 as a premium tank with a probably an enhanced gun, but it's the 122mm gun with 390 damage. Who knows? It would be a little bit more historical than we have right now. Again, I'm not entirely sure. But today I want to talk about this big boy behemoth, the STI one, uh, ST one dash two. My name is Waiting Raptor, and I welcome you to today's video from the super test. And it is pretty, pretty, pretty important to notice we do not yet know any stats, guys. Like we just know that there are two working concepts of this tank in the super test right now. And you can already see the tank basically it has an um, it is a HD model and it it doesn't really look any different from the ST1 or STI. Again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how it's pronounced, but I think it's ST1. It's it looks pretty darn similar. Like there's nothing r that didn't change anything basically. If we have a look at this one right here, we have the side skirts, we have this lower plate over here, we have the back plate, everything. It basically looks the same, except for the gun mantle being a slightly touch thicker and as you can see, having two barrels. And this is like the biggest gimmick about the ST1-2. So what is Wargaming saying about this tank right now? They're calling it, or well, the text to it is, the developers of World of Tanks are testing the mechanic of double mouse. Left and right click, acting as fire buttons. On the internal focus tests several participants of such tests told us at once. Again, you basically have the ability to shoot with your left mouse button, the, for example, right barrel, uh, left barrel, and with your right mouse button like here, oops, that's what I wanted to do, um, you can shoot the right barrel. Maybe it would even mean that this tank does not have auto aim. But let's be honest, do we really need auto aim in higher tiers? Sometimes, but not that often. Little details yet, but under photos as already a finished prototype called ST1-2. The tank itself is already in HD with two guns. Then only you can draw a conclusion. Yes, veterans will immediately remember ST2 with two barrels and they will uh, be absolutely right. While it's not entirely clear, is the new mechanic dedicated for a special mode or for random battles, but most likely it is for the latter. So we most likely will get this tank 
as a special mode tank for who knows what. For, uh, uh, excuse me, for random battles. I'm stupid, I just uh, kind of mixed my head around there. Right now, there are two working concepts from which to which the choice will be exactly how do these two guns will work. The first tests were carried out last week with a group of Soviet testers. It sounds good and this is probably one of the most anticipated and interesting mechanics by the players. Please guys, do not forget, if we get workable tanks with two guns... Well, in theory we have a tank in the game already which has two guns, but let's be honest, it doesn't really work that well, because like the whole gimmick of this tank would be, oh, look, it has two guns, so you should be able to shoot him independently. But the problem is it shoots both shots at the same time, so it kind of loses this privilege, when you want to call it like that. The ST1-2 will not be the case. Again, you are able to shoot each gun separately. So, and... Such a new mechanic could have even implications for tank like the mouse, because please do not forget the mouse has a 7.5 centimeter gun over here. And like if we play around a little bit with some different German guns, which have 7.5 centimeter in diameter, you could even think about, yeah, it could be even something like this, a low penetration, low damage gun, but it could work. I'm actually... Wikipedia mouse tank. I'm actually going to look up what exactly what type of gun it is because it have a it's a KVK 44L36. So this one would be for example too big. Might have to go a little bit down. This is a L48, maybe even lower tier 36 it was, I think. Yeah. A uh, 44, excuse me. It might be that this gun isn't even in the game, so who knows. I think it might actually be the case. Nevertheless, Wargaming could definitely introduce a 75cm uh, gun with L46. So maybe it will be something around this. It has probably a piss poor penetration. But don't forget, weak tanks you could still penetrate. And if it has a fast reload time, it could be used to retract enemies, which might be a little bit overpowered. Or you can use it to do some more damage. Again, the ST1-2 would not be the only tank which could benefit from a two-barrel mechanic. But then again, this is purely guesswork. I'm not entirely sure if the E100 also would have this mechanic or this is a gun. My guess would be yes, but again, I'm not a tank expert. Nevertheless, the mouse at the moment is like the only tank I can think of, which has um, two guns, like this, in a turret. The other tank which would come to my mind would be the B2, like the real B2, because this one, as you can see right here, has lost its gun or whole mounted gun. And if we go into the French tech tree right now, you might also notice that the B1 has this fat howitzer. And it, it again, it, you could barely um, put it left and right, but it could be used when you angled your hole. So again, this could in theory also be a tank which could get a second gun option to choose. And guys, obviously we can't forget the best tank in the game on tier 4, I think it is. Obviously it's the M3 Lee right here. It also would benefit from a secondary gun because not only you would have this powerful middle tier tank gun, but you could also have, I think it's a 37 or a 47, 30 or 47 millimeter gun. I am not entirely sure. And he could also use this gun up here in a working turret. Again, multi-turreted or two-barrel tanks in the game could spice up several tanks in my opinion. So I really, 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 really do like this idea. Nevertheless, the next things Wargaming has to say is... It is also interesting that the current client is able and supports this two-cannon mechanic. So again, it support the, Our client right now would support this. Um, they are also explaining like how types of shooting you can immediately shot two guns and wait a cooldown of 10 to 17 seconds. Alternative, or you can prepare a shot charge in advance, 5 to 7 seconds. So it's all up to you and depends how you really, really want to do this. Like you could in theory, again, my guess is this is a 440 alpha gun because it is, let's be honest, it's the same gun you see on the IS-4, which is right here. It's the M62 T2 gun with the muzzle brake, with the um, com 
compress i'm not sure how it's called it's not a compressor but basically what it does is it pushes out the toxic fumes from the barrels or from the shot so maybe both guns or what each gun would do around 440 alpha so in theory you could do like double tap like this and well you could do f something like f 880 damage on average and have to wait like 20 seconds or something would this be an interesting tier 10 vehicle or an alternative tier 10 to the is4 yes would it be also interesting to completely re um, rebalance and exchange the is4 with the sd2 it could also be very interesting it's just very very important in my opinion that wargaming keeps the is4 into the game because it's probably one of the most recognized russian heavy tanks in the game or rather in real life it re it was a thing and it's Again, I really like this, and it was also one of those tanks which used Havoc to show how this would f um, wiggle around. So yeah. This is what I have for you today. And one last thing I really want to point out is that actually, not counting the cupola and the side armor, the ST1 actually has a decent chunk of frontal armor. Right now we can go into the same position. So right now both tanks should be at the exact same position. So now we look at the IS-4 upper hull plating, it's 280 to 290 to 300, and um, the driver's hatch is, well, 250. And lower plate is 180, maybe it's 160, depending where you're hitting. The SD-1, on the other hand, has not only this spot right here, so the lower plate is a little bit less big, but also the upper front plate has 150 instead of 140 millimeters armor, and the... Um, What's it called? It is out of bounds apparently, or it looks like out of bounds. And the driver's hatch is even on par when it comes to angling and armor. Just those flanks over here and the side armor is worse on the ST1 compared to the IS4, which has 160 and 160 respectively, as well as 160 down there, which the ST1 can also boost, but it's only 140. When we look at the backs, it's 120 millimeters versus 100 millimeters, so we see that there is a little bit of, um, yeah, weakness. And obviously, the big, big cupola of the SD1, which the IS4 does not pose, just the IS4 has a huge roof, which is 30 millimeters thick, where we have here 130 millimeters in the back. So overall, I also want to point out that this tank was already proposed in 2017. Please keep that in mind. And I'm not sure if this was a working model or actually a model. Um, it's uh, He just says it's not his idea, so who knows. Nevertheless, this looks just derpy, let's be honest right here. I really, really like the idea and I really look forward to seeing what Wargaming could do with the SD-1-2. Like, it looks really, really cool and could be a completely new game mechanic, which again, on the other hand, could help tanks like the mouse and the E100. So I'm really sorry, guys, that we don't have too much information at the moment. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and about this new mechanic and what implications it could have for other tanks. Like, in theory, you could think about using this 20 millimeter gun. It might not be useful, but it could here and there penetrate something like a Leopard 1 or a Batchet. Like, it could penetrate low armored tanks. And that's, this could be an interesting new opinion or option, in my opinion, to just go with it. I don't think there are any other tanks which could benefit from something like this. In theory, the tier 9, um, a tier 8 TD of the, um, of the French could. The Type 5 or the general, the Japanese heavy tank tree could benefit because they have those guns. Like, again, there are some tanks in the game which could really benefit from a multi turret in quotation marks dash several gun play style and i would really look forward to it because it could be really really interesting if this would be a thing again my name is raging raptor i thank you so much for your attention i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section below what i can do better and obviously i'll talk to you all later don't forget to subscribe for your well as quickly as possible the latest news in world of tanks thank you so much and i'll talk to you all later